Hey folks, welcome to Java series part 4. In this video, we will understand what is class and what is an object. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get more updates. Let's begin. Java class. Java class is a blueprint for the object. Before we create an object, we first need to define the class. So Java uh, class can be defined as a blueprint. Before we design anything, we must have a blueprint of it. Then only we can go ahead and use it for the implementation, right? In the same way, it is a collection of variables and methods, okay? Also, it is a collection of objects. Basically, how we will write the class is, this is the default syntax. We will write class and then the class name. After that, we will define all the variables and method inside the class. It is actually a collection of variables, methods as well as the uh, objects. Okay. We will uh, see it through an example too. And let's understand what is object then. A Java object is a member of Java class. Each object has its identity, behavior and a state. Object is created using the crea uh, keyword new. Memory will be allocated along with the creation of an object. Whenever we uh, create an object with this new keyword, there will be a heap of memory will be allocated for this particular object. Uh, and also it is an instance of class. Object is an instance of class. So this is how we will write the class. Sorry. Uh, object class name and we have to give the user defined object name a anything we can use this while calling it uh, we can say object uh, obj dot whatever method we want to access we can directly call it using this particular uh, reference variable so it is just a reference variable is equal to new class name okay this is the syntax of object we saw what is class, what is object and how the syntax looks like. So let's get into the programming now. So to start with, even if we see uh, the default structure, so the public static void main also is enclosed within a class. First we will create a class and then we will define the methods and variables if we want to create, we can create it, right? So uh, in the same way, first we will start adding two numbers let's say int num1 we have which is equal to 10 and then int num2 which is equal to uh, 3 let's say 3 so to sum up these two numbers we will uh, have we, we will have to uh, want another variable which is called int result let's say it as int result so it is very easy right so we will sum up num1 plus num2 so which will yield us the sum of num1 plus num2 to print this let's say syso and then press uh, in the keyboard press ctrl and uh, space this will expand it expand the sy system dot out dot print ln so and let's print the result now okay after we did that we will let's run this program now Now we got the result of uh, n1 plus uh, num1 plus num2 which is 13, right? Suppose say I don't want to add these two numbers here. I wanted this logic to be written in another separate class. Then what we will do is let's create another class called sum, okay? Within this sum, I am going to create another method, say, uh, public int add add number we are creating add number so let's say add and after that we have to uh, add two numbers right so for that we have to pass two parameters let's say int n1 comma int n2 so after this let's write the body of this method okay so what we will do now is we will add the two numbers let's say 
int res is equal to n1 plus n2. So we have defined it two different uh, variable names. Here it is num1 and num2. Here we are using n1 and n2. And we will print the result. So we will print the result using, first we have to return this particular result to the uh, method, right? So for first we will return this. So what we did now is <coughs> we created another, uh, the term type sum is already defined. Let's rename it as, uh, we renamed it as sum number. Okay. First what we will do is, we will create the object or instance of this particular class. Let's say, take this sum number. Okay. Sum number SN is equal to new sum number. Okay. So what we did is, if you remember the syntax of how we create an object, it is that it is the class name. And then we have to create a reference variable which is equal to the new. New will create a memory, memory, and then we are creating the, um, you know, some uh, some number which is the class name itself with this uh, function kind of function. This is okay. So that is how we created an object. Now, how can I call this particular method then? If I want to call this method, what I have to do is we just simply have to say sn dot add of num1 and num2. So if we just simply say this, save and then just run it. Yes, now also we got the same result. So what we did now is with uh, by creating another class, we created an object. So what we uh, can understand by this is we can define certain methods. So object will be having a state, behavior and all we learned, right? So this will be having all the, uh, this class is having all the different types of methods, everything which is having a state and then uh, it is a kind of different entity which we can call it by creating an object of or a reference of this class into uh, as an object and then we can call the specific methods written in this particular class. So that is how we created one is class and another is object. So this is how uh, we can create object and then class. If you have liked this video, please do like the video, share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.